Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All right, so today we have an unboxing of Exco Light. That's right, Exco Light. This unassuming box right here contains Exco Light. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna open this box. We're gonna see what's inside. We're gonna check this puppy out. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we check out Exco Light. I'm excited. Okay, people, now it's time for another edition of What's in the Box? What's in the Box? What's in the Box? No markings at all on the box. Let's open the box. Cue the music, Phil. Exco Light. Here we have a charging cable. And the Exco Light itself. That's all that's in the box. All right, let's take a look at this. Now here's our power cable for charging the Exco Light up. And here's the Exco Light itself. So what did we get in the box? We have a piece of paper explaining that it's the Exco Light with instructions to go to the Apple Store or Google Play Store for the application. We have a power cable and we have the Exco Light himself right here. So we're gonna hook this puppy up and see how he works. We have two cameras on Exco Light and we have the screen recording. So the first thing we need to do is turn Exco light on. And he is on. The second thing we got to do is connect our Bluetooth on our phone. And then we're going to shake our phone. And there we go, connected to Bluetooth. And now we have control of Exco light. And we can see that he has his batteries charged. We can see the speed. We have four different categories here. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to capture it with both cameras. So we have our joystick controllers, the one on the right and the one on the left. The left side has forward, backwards, left side, right side. And then the one on the right is your turns. So if you want him to turn to the right, there he goes, he's turning to the right, turn to the left. All right, but then on the left side, we can go left, left, forward, backwards. All right, we can adjust his height. We can lower him. Or we can make him stand all the way up. And then we can make him walk. We can make him turn. There we go. He had hit one little piece of stuff in the ground. And then we can lower him all the way down and we can make him walk too. He doesn't walk very well that way. 
He does go backwards, but forward is a little struggle. To the side, to the side works. So we'll take him up. I like him about 65%, as close as I can get to it. Seems the best gant for him to walk. So there's that. Then we have advanced. That works more as like a physical joystick instead of buttons. You can make a move. You can do a little bit of circles. His feet are a little bit slick. Now this joystick controller works the opposite. This makes him turn or go side to side. And then he has like a walk in place. That's very cool. Then we have his accesses. Uh, with the accesses, you can control side to side. That's your right there. You can go forward. You can go backwards. And there we go. And then we have his pitch and yaw. Yaw, pitch and yaw. Y'all, roll, pitch, and y'all, roll, pitch, and y'all. Here we go. And you can control them together to give them some unique movements. And that's cool. And then go back over to the normal. And there you go. All right, let's go this way. And I will try to get a good angle from the side. And we're going to leave this part and we're going to go over to performance mode. Performance mode um, has all the pre programmed moves. So lie down, stand up. Crawl, turn around, walk in place, squat, turn and roll, turn and pitch. Turn y'all. And then we have the three axis points all at the same time. Every good dog needs to pee once in a while. There he goes peeing. And then, of course, needs to sit down. Wave his hand. And stretch like Bruno. Do a body wave. Do a body swing. Pray. That's more begging. 
Okay, we'll call it prey, but it looks like begging. And we're just going to seek. Do a handshake. All right. And if you hit the rotation button, he runs through all of the different rotations that are pre-programmed. He will do them in about a matter of a minute. And he'll keep on doing the rotation over and over and over again until you undo the rotation button. And hit the reset button. All right, and reset takes him right back to his standard stance. Then we have the coordination buttons where you can adjust and play with different things. So right now we have his X at zero, but we can, and it controls each individual leg. And you can hit reset. So if we did right front leg, you can see it does each leg. You can adjust different things. You can adjust the shoulder. You can adjust the Z, which is like, here you go. And if you hit reset, it brings it all back to the original stance. And you can do that with each limb on X go light. And then you have servo control and that controls the front, each leg again individually, and each servo attached. And there's three servos per leg. That's super cool. And then we can go here. You can see what version of the app we're using. You can go in here and see if it's Bluetooth is on and run this project as a developer. We haven't played with that yet. And that's pretty much all the things that Xco Lite can do with the application. It's super fun to play with. Um, I can add a camera to the top of them and go make them go seek out different things. I have a few little small cameras I could add to them uh, just so I can see what's going on. Uh, as he's walking, like search and rescue, like spot mini. Um, he's super cool though. All right, so now we got to see Xgo Lite in action. Now this is the Xgo Lite, not the Xgo Mini, um, because at the time I didn't have the funds to actually back the Xgo Mini. So I went with the Xgo Lite. Um, from what I understand, though, he may be upgradable to the same conditions as an Esco Mini uh, with a, the addition of the headpiece, which has a lot of the brains in it. Um, but at this point in time, he does a lot of different things. You know, he is well made. Everything here is, looks to be put together very well. We have uh, 3D printed lower legs here but this is all metal and they all use accessible form of screws so they're all phillips and that's cool and they seem to be pretty put together well um, i haven't taken them apart or taken any of the covers off there are some led lights in there that are on his board that light up when he's engaged with his bluetooth plus then you have the power button 
Um, it's very nice looking. I like it a lot. There are no sensors on him, so he doesn't have any sensors on the light. And having no sensors means you can't make him sense or react. But on the Mini, you could because that headpiece has a lot of the sensors in it along with a camera. And that's super cool. But everything looks good. The wires look like they're well versed. Um, if you just want something to drone with, this guy's perfect. I mean, for $200, he's a pretty good dr ground joint drone. And I'm sure you can get the STL files to re so you can make replacement feet for them. I think he could use some little rubberized caps on these to make it a little bit better so he's not so slick. But I'm very satisfied with the light. I think his motions are very cool. And I think he shows that you what you can pretty much do um, with a robot of this nature. So if you're interested in the XGO Light or the XGO Mini, I put a link below where you can find it along with all the specs and details. This is Bruce with Unsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And Emo and I will see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Good dog. Good dog.